Hello lovely butterfly, welcome to this channel on Monday, week 174. <music> Welcome back to my channel where it's all about connecting you with your creative enthusiasm. Today again I'm going to try to boost you to get some art channeling done. I'm starting with some gesso in which I'm scraping some charcoal, mixing it up just to give it a hint of color and then applying it with my brayer to give it a hint of texture. Once it's dry, I'm going in with my new colors, with a variety of colors. First just scraping it on and then blending it with some water. Considering I'm working on gesso, I will of course have very little color left, but this is just a first layer, well actually a second. I just want some hints of colors when I'm done with this. Like I said, I just wanted some hints of color, so this is still too much to my liking. So I'm going in with some white chalky finish. Again, first applying it with a brayer and then losing patience and just going in with a paintbrush. I want more variety in my color shades that I'm adding, so I'm going in with some more, again using the new colors, blending it, and then heat setting it. I think that all the animals outside have decided to join us today. If you listen carefully, you can hear a frog, a wide variety of birds, and a couple of dogs.
this point I feel like adding some wording but I don't want it to be just in your face so I'm going to write it with a charcoal pencil and then blending it with water to push it in the background. This way it's nothing more than a shadow on the paper. I want to add some drama to it, so I'm going back in with my black neo color, adding patches of color here and there, and this time I'm going to dilute it in such a way that I keep as much color on the paper as possible. But I still want to keep it dreamy, so I'm going to do it in such a way that I don't have any harsh lines. I'm using a watercolor paintbrush to make sure that I can really play around with the water in the way that I want to. I want to add more contrast to it, so not only am I adding more color uh, with chalky finished paint, but I'm also adding it with my palette knife so that the general feel when it's done is different because of the texture of it. I want to bring back some of that brownish rusty color that I used at the beginning. So again, in a dreamy way. So I'm going back in with Neo Color and blending it with water. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I'm taking out the three of my number stamps, not really knowing which one I wanted to use until I had them all in my hand and then I could just pick one. I'm just stamping it with archival ink because I don't want this to move around when I go in with the next layer. Waking up my white Pasca pen, I just wanted to add one little word again in a very dreamy, softy way, but I want to add those white splatters. And I'm doing the same thing with my black pen, just adding some scribbles here and there. But black splatters.
I want to fix everything that I have so far on the paper. So I'm going in with matte medium in a very thin layer and I'm hardly pressing down my paintbrush to make sure that my neo color that I have on there doesn't move around. I came across this um, x-ray of a rose years ago on Pinterest. This is um, a photo by Albert Koetsier, who is a Dutch photographer. And I knew years ago that this at some point would end up in my journal as a transfer. And today is that day. So I'm just marking where I want to have it. And for the first time, I'm going to use the deco art um, transfer medium. So this was a test for me. And I'll give you my findings at the end of the video. So you have to apply it on both surfaces. And then press the laser printed image on the surface, on the background. But then it has to dry for eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah. Having to wait for eight hours is a lot of frustration. So I decided to already add some light stamping around the flower. I didn't leave it to dry for eight hours. I left it to dry for three weeks, which might be a little bit too much. So I'm adding some water to it so that I can scrape it back. And at first I was very happy because the paper was coming off much easier than with um, matte medium transfer and then all of a sudden too much came off. Well maybe I got just a little bit too courageous with rubbing the paper bag feeling that it was really sticking to the paper. You can already see and there you go. Now it's okay because this is still just a background and I know that something will come on top of that but nonetheless Next time, my transfer will be done again with matte medium or with gesso, depending on what I have. To slightly cover up that wide opening that I have there, I'm just going back in with black neo color building up the color because I'm working on a non-pore surface at this point. So adding color, drying in, heat setting it. But in the end, I know that this is going to disappear in the background. I just want to make sure that I don't have like this wide space showing up from underneath my wording. I chose one of the words of my June A Layer A Day sticker sheet and also got out some cambric to put on the need. I'm colorizing my cambric again with the same black neo color. That will give me a grayish shade, which will work well with the background. And then trimming everything so that it is, well, almost as small as it can be for that little word. And that can go straight on my flower. To tone down the white of the wording, I'm also adding some gray neo color. Again, just blending it with water and then applying it in very, very light touches to the word. But it's still too white, so it needs a little bit more. So I'm taking out one of my stamps, and this is one of the Rock and Rust stamp set, and then stamping it with. Um, Gather Twigs Distress Ink. 
my flower is floating which I don't like so I'm tracing it like it's coming up from the bottom of the page while fighting with my glue to get out some of it on the word to stick it down I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more of white splatters just to lighten up the whole thing I thought that I was done that I could just add my date stamp but of course I needed to add one more thing and that one thing is some stamping I used two stamps from my sinuosity stamp set both stamping them with London Fog from Memento Inc. And that's it. That's it for today's spread. I hope it inspires you to get some art channeling done. I hope it will inspire you to put down a layer a day. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my YouTube channel where I'm talking about the a layer a day challenge. I will see you back here next Thursday for a new Papillons Fluttering episode and next Saturday for a new a layer a day challenge prompt. Don't forget to put down a layer a day. Butterfly kisses. Mm -hmm.